then still be able to post a, a sizable total in that first innings. New Zealand wrapped up the test by 186 runs in four days and the second test begins in the Port of Spain on Tuesday. Meanwhile, batsman Joe Root hit an unbeaten 102 and Moen Ali impressed on debut as England recovered from the loss of three early wickets to reach 344 for five at the end of day one of the opening test against Sri Lanka at Lords. And just before we go, an update from the Football World Cup's opening match in Sao Paulo. Croatia have scored first against Brazil in their uh, match up uh, in front of 60,000 fans at the Corinthians Stadium. So not exactly the uh, script the uh, home fans were expecting. An own goal. And uh, so we'll keep you up to date with that. Uh, that is the latest in sports news uh, on Radio New Zealand International. Talofalava. This is Dateline Pacific from Radio New Zealand International. I'm Amelia Langford. In this edition, Indonesian suspicions emerge over New Zealand's motives in Papua. A German court overturns a kava ban. There are calls for better conditions at the Vale Nickel plant in New Caledonia. High-speed internet for Tuvalu. The UN's asked to step in over the eviction of squatters from a settlement in Papua New Guinea's capital. And the suspended Nauru MPs are stripped of their salaries and perks. A Jakarta newspaper is the recent decision by Indonesia to axe New Zealand's planned police training program. The region stems from suspicions over hidden motives. The planned US $5 million program would have seen a small number of New Zealand police stationed in Papua training their Indonesian counterparts in community policing. Last month, Indonesia scrapped the program. The Jakarta Globe now reports that the Deputy Chief of the Indonesian